Well, as you probably noticed if you visited a garden center lately, when you go in, there's all sorts of plants in there. Plants for shade, plants for full sun, very dry, drought tolerant plants, plants that are virtually indestructible, like these little hens and chicks, all sorts of flowering perennials and shrubs and evergreens and so on. But out of the whole lot, I'm going to show you one here now that I believe is one of the most useful perennials that we can grow in the garden. This is Euphorbia Ascot Rainbow, a sport that occurred way far away in Victoria, Australia, would you believe? This is a member of a very large plant family, which includes the Ponsettia that we have at Christmas time. But this is an outdoor variety that has this variegated foliage, which is a really pretty plant. And the reason it's useful is this copes with extreme dryness. In fact, the garden that this was found in belonged to David Glenn, a plantsman and garden designer that has his garden, which is called Lambley. He named it after his original home in England before he emigrated to Australia. And it is generally acknowledged as one of the best dry gardens in the world. Well, this was a sport that occurred on a hybrid euphorbia that, as you see, has this highly unusual variegated foliage. It looks pretty, but I can tell you that as pretty as it looks now, it gets even more attractive when we get cold weather because what happens to all of the colored parts of these plants is they turn really bright ambers and reds and pinks and you still keep some yellow through there. The whole plant takes on a really striking colored leaves and it also flowers. It carries, uh, it produces uh, little stems which come up with little green type bells on them with soft chartreuse color with deeper dark green blotches and each one of them has a very nice little red eye. That happens in early summer and so these young plants here are not quite flowering yet. But the reason I'm telling you all about this is that I grow this in my garden in a partially shaded site where I have a lot of competition from tree roots the ground there is very shallow and thin, so it gets extremely dry in the summertime. And this is very valuable because there are not that many plants that we can put in our gardens that will take a degree of shade, but at the same time put up with a lot of dryness. So if you've got conditions like that and you want to try some Euphorbia Ascot Rainbow, I can tell you that it is a really very useful plant for situations like that. It also is a nice plant to grow in a rockery or a raised bed, in a gravel garden, somewhere where you're going to be able to see all of this pretty variegated foliage. It's uh, got nice red stems on it, as you see, and lovely variegated foliage, hardy to zone 6. This is Euphorbia Ascot Rainbow.